What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? The king of Wakanda has been knocked down. He is no longer the number one movie in theaters. That five-week run is over. But the sad thing is, look at what beat it. This monstrosity right here called Pacific Rim Part 2 just makes you sad that such a great movie falls from the reins of number one to this piece of crap right here. I think most of the critics' reviews I've seen have said it's fun, but very dumb. So explosions and all that good stuff you're used to from a summer movie. But definitely not to the stellar of what Black Panther was in concept. If you enjoy the content on this Life Games channel, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you're down every time we drop a Life Games video because we're about improving quality of life. That's what we call Life Games. Let's get into the video. What's good, YouTube? Sex is Hell host, bringing you guys your life gain today in entertainment recall, speaking about movies. And what a historical run by Black Panther, but the run is now over. It is no longer the number one movie in theaters, and it had a really, really good run. It went five consecutive weeks, and as we've seen in the opening, it's been knocked out by Something I wish wouldn't have knocked it out. I wish Avengers, it could have stayed number one to Avengers, but all good things at some point in time come to an end. Let's talk about some of the numbers that you guys might not have known. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, go ahead, subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Games video. If you really want to support this channel, click on that Patreon link. You can donate to this channel to help keep this great Life Game content going. So graphic number one. As of March 23rd through March 25th, 18, your number one movies are Pacific Rim bringing in $28 million. Black Panther brought in 16 million, it came in number two. Number three, I can only imagine, Sherlock Gnomes is number four. Tomb Raider is number five And that movie. When I tell you that movie suck, I told y'all, if y'all didn't see my review of that movie, that movie is terrible. It is not helping the video game genre whatsoever. Wrinkle in Time has not lived up to expectations. This thing has made $73 million, and this is week number three. That ain't done so hot. Love, Simon, I know nothing about it. Paul Apostle of Christ made $5 million. That was new this week. Game Night, um, not doing all that great. And Midnight Sun rounds out your top 10. And let's take a look at some other numbers, because... This got me thinking, what movies have been the number one movie for consecutive weeks? So I went back and did some digging. Let's take a look at this graphic. The movie that went the longest at number one is Titanic. And I went to see that movie, so, you know, I can see why that movie stayed number one for that long. I didn't know it was 15 weeks. Beverly Hills Cop starring Eddie Murphy. Can y'all believe that? Beverly Hills Cops was number one for 13 weeks. Tootsie... Um, did 13 weeks. I've never seen that. Home Alone, I saw that. That did 12 weeks. Crocodile Dundee did 9. Good Morning Vietnam did 9 weeks. Back to the Future did 8 weeks. Fatal Attraction with my girl Glenn Close stayed in the theater for 8 weeks. That was a crazy ass movie. Fellas, if you sniff crazy on some of your little jump offs and your side pieces, after seeing Fatal Attraction, it will make you think twice about having a side piece because that chick was crazy. Moving right along, Porky's, I've never seen that, was eight weeks. Avatar stayed number one for seven weeks. Ghostbusters stayed seven weeks. On Golden Pond was seven. E.T. stayed six weeks. The Fugitive stayed six weeks. Rocky IV was six. And rounding it off, Black Panther had a run for five weeks. So. Those are movies that stayed number one for a while. Now here's some other good numbers. Look at the domestic numbers that this movie has done compared to some of the other good classes that you've seen. So, The Force Awakened brought in $936 million. Avatar brought in $760 million domestic dollars. Titanic rounds it out at number three with $659. Jurassic World that came out two years ago brought in $652 million. 
Black Panther is currently number five at $630 million domestically. And I think that this movie is going to, it's going to definitely pass probably Jurassic World and Titanic. I doubt it gets up to Avatar domestically because in about four more weeks, Infinity War is dropping and that's going to certainly push this movie back a little bit. But it has already passed the first Avengers which brought in $623 million domestically. So this movie had an outstanding impact and I feel like this movie is putting a whole lot of pressure on Hollywood to create a situation where you have diversity, you have a great script, and you see what the power of that type of movie can do. I'm still wearing my Black Panther shirt right now, and it can get people galvanized and help make an impact. Here's another look at some good numbers. Here are your numbers all time worldwide, what this movie did. So number one, is Avatar. It brought in 2.7 billion worldwide. Highest grosser movie of all time. Titanic is number two. It brought in 2.1 billion dollars. The Force Awakening brought in two billion dollars. Jurassic World that came out two years ago brought in 1.6. Number five on this list is Avengers bringing in 1.5 billion with a B. Fast and the Furious is number six. It brought in 1.5. Age of Ultron is number seven. It brought in 1.4. Harry Potter brought in 1.3. Last Jedi brought in 1.3. Frozen brought in 1.2. Beauty and the Beast, another Disney movie, brought in 1.2. And Black Panther is number 12 right now at 1.2. My prediction always was that this movie was going to make it probably to 1.5. Um, with Avengers coming out, I doubt if it's going to get that high. It's going to definitely get to 1.3. So it's going to crack the top 10, but I don't know if it's going to make it up there at the top five range. So, but it has been a good run. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, how many times have you seen this movie? Where do you rank this movie as your favorite Marvel movies? And how do you feel the effects of Avengers is going to play and kind of dropping the steam that this movie has had. It's had a great run. It made 16 million this week. Um, you can't say enough about it. Very, very good movie. And before we get out of here, let's talk about what's coming out next week. Ready Player One is coming out. Acrimony with Tyler Perry and Taraji P. Hempson drops and God's Not Dead. And you see the graphic of what they're predicting these movies will make. I don't think these movies are gonna do that well. Ready Player One, I, I, don't, I don't feel like that's gonna do anything at all. And Tyler Perry, if he's not doing some of his complex stories, he's just doing that Medea shit, it never really pans out that well in terms of dollars. Not worldwide anyway. So we'll see what happens with those. Let me know if you're gonna go see any one of those three movies. I might go check out my girl Taraji P and Acrimony, I might. Um, you know, it's kinda gonna be a woman scoring movie. And right now, I just need all the positivity and vibes I can get from a good movie. I don't want to see a sister beating up a brother, no matter what the circumstances is. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Let me know what's going on in your movie world, your TV series world. As we go and navigate 2018, we've had some great movies with Black Panther being the number one so far. And until that next sexy as hell video. I'll see you.